Hunting early season September Canada geese in Pennsylvania is one of my favorite hunting opportunities that the state offers all year. But as fun as hunting Canada geese can be, it can also be an extremely finicky game. For a lot of migrating birds have not reached Pennsylvania by the month of September when the early season kicks off. Which means you're hunting residential geese, which are smart, whimsical, and have seen a time or two how hunting pressure can affect these populations. And thus, they've become extremely good at evading detection and hunting pressure during the months of September. Not to mention varying weather conditions from warm and sunny to wet and cool can make goose migration of resident geese unpredictable as they look for app food sources as opportunity presents itself. Now that said, smart conservative spreads, calling, and even flagging tactics can trick resident Canada geese while also baffling migrators if done properly. And on this small local hunt, we have some new hunters in the game, including my buddy Travis, who's been out for a couple years, and his buddy Troy, who's never been on a goose hunt. And this gives us an opportunity to show how the basic fundamentals can allow us to harvest Canada geese in September. And as a lucky band could reveal to us on this hunt, even the wisest birds can be fooled and brought in close if you have good sound skills in basic goose hunting. All right, so we're set up. We got 18 full bodies and three layouts up on this alfalfa field. It's supposed to be 85 degrees today, so we're thinking these birds are gonna get here probably around 8, 8.30. Uh, it's not a ton of geese, but I mean, there's goose sign all over the place. You can see where they've been browsing off the alfalfa. Uh, and there's scat all over the place as well. So we clearly are on a small X, which for September, I mean, not a lot of people get to say that they're on you know the spot where the geese want to be so we'll sit it out we'll wait it could happen literally any minute now with the sun coming up and hopefully we'll pile up a bunch circle around they'll come down they're trying Give him that flag. Yep, here they come. Should I sit down? Yep, put it down. Yep, here they come. They just had to get the wind right. Yep. 
Yep, here we go. Yep, yep. They're gonna do it right here behind me. Don't move. Yep, this group right here. Don't move. They're all on my left. Okay, they're on the ground. You stay down. Okay. I'm gonna pop up and shoot. And we'll see where these geese go. All right, you guys ready? Ready. All right, they're going to cross in front. They're going to cross in front. All right, I got to go. No, oh, no, 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 no. They're just hiding. You can't see them. Grass. All right, leave it, leave it, leave it. I got them. Yeah. Find the one that you just shot. Right oh. Yep. Dude, it's banded. No way. No freaking way. It's banded. Please tell me it's banded. Nope. Just kill banded geese. Good work, dude. I told Troy to stay just in case another group came. Yeah. Dude, are you kidding me? Let's go! Let's go! They were having a hell of a time of it. They couldn't figure out again. I'm sorry that they all landed weird like that. Nothing you can do. They didn't have to do it. I am excited to check it out. Can't believe that worked. Two birds down, they land on the ground, they landed left. Yeah, real left. No wind makes it hard to land them. But when they got a band, you only need one. Sick. Hopefully a few more come in. They were sleeping over there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They were sleeping in on the field out they there. The field. Oh my god. <laughs> they came off the field to eat here. That's insane. That's how you know they're cozy. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's, that's crazy how that flag works. Dude, they start flapping it? and they literally just whoop. Well, the key is they call that swinging. What is, when the geese are right above you, you don't want to call, you don't want to do any movement because they can pick you out. But when they're flying away and they're just looking at you at the peripheral, and I start picking up that call a little bit, just pick up the tempo, and you hit them with that flag, they're like, okay, we want it. It just took them a good hot second to figure out. Yeah. 
When I stood, when I stood up, I thought maybe they were like 25, 30 yards. That was a 40 yard poke. From here, there, yep. And I took one shot down, yep. took another shot down. Yep. Third shot, I think I rolled one, but it didn't, must have just been like body shot, yeah. wasn't head. So you were like, what's a band? Yeah, I okay. just track them or? Shooting a banded goose is very uncommon. They're there, and the more you do it, the better the chance you have of getting them, which means there were probably other banded birds in that group. But when you have a band, it has a serial number on it. So what you do is you go to www.reportband.gov. It's a website, and you type in the serial number, and you type in your information. Uh, USGS, they're the people, the federal people, responsible for managing the number of geese and other waterfowl in the United States and basically figuring out how many you can shoot, how many are available, etc. So they catch birds in the summer and band them. And they band a bunch of them. And then when people shoot them, like what we just did, you call in the number or report it online and it will tell you where your goose was banded, how old the bird is, is it a male, is it a female? I can tell you right now, this one's probably a female because a little smaller, but uh, Every one of these that's reported, it basically tells the USGS how many of their birds that they're banding are getting shot in a given year. And that allows them to make population estimates in order to determine bag limits and how many you can kill. If they banned three or 4,000 birds in Pennsylvania and all of them get shot, they'll know the hunting pressure's high there's not enough birds for everyone, so they'll lower the regs to like maybe shorter seasons, a bird a day type of yeah. thing, something like that. Do you think, is there, does everyone report them or do you think? I know there's a lot of people who don't report them and they, everyone has their theory, but legally you're supposed to because if bird numbers go down and people aren't reporting their harvests, how are people supposed to know that their goose numbers are down even if there's like high limits and yeah. it, it it puts into total jeopardy how many animals there are in the population like it can really lower them to the point where they can't come back and geese reproduce really slow slower than people realize they're just really good at not dying once they get old so their numbers are yeah. good can i see that other goose yeah while we got some downtime there's earmuffs <clears throat> there wasn't very many there was there no, that that group was probably the group that landed there was probably eight or nine. That looks like a male. That's a male. Uh, get some of that. That's definitely a male. That's a much larger animal. Let me see that baby. Ooh, ooh. They are so, <laughs> but I do love hunting them. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That was on that pond. I got them all worked out. Hold that phone. Yeah. Yeah, hold the phone. Let's do some uh, team calling there, Trimble. I'll talk I'll talk to you. You you can lead the show and I'll talk to you like we were doing the other day. And we'll just see if we can pull them off that pond. You know what I mean? <laughs> That was me dominating you. That was. <laughs> <laughs> I let you lead and I was just like, no. You know what? Give it a nice one. That's not what team call is. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, two geese. Cover up, cover up. They're coming. 
Yep, they're, they're cut, they're committed. <laughs> I'm just gonna, ah, they're too far. <sighs> Shit. Just don't move. Don't move, see if they walk up at all. Alright, here's what we're gonna do guys. I'm gonna shoot the left one. You two spray everything you got at the right bird. Is that okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, they're walking in. They're walking in. Yep, we're gonna just wait. They were gonna land about 15 yards further out and then I kind of work called them in. Damn it, if they walk on my left like this, I don't know if you guys are gonna get shots. <sighs> yep, they're gonna come right in front of us. They're about 35 right now. Can you see them, Troy? Mm -hmm. Okay, just trust me. They're off my left. Okay. They're still on my side of the blind. I'm hoping they walk in front of me. <sighs> if they walk off to my left, I'm just gonna kill them, but I would like them to cross in front for you guys. All right, they're about 20. Here they come. Troy, you're gonna kill the one on the right. I'm gonna kill the one on the left. Is your safety off? Okay, ready? Go. There we go. Nice. Let's go! Work. Let's go! Oh my god, that's sick. Great. <laughs> I couldn't even see me. I just think they trust me. I'm like, alright. Let's go! That's freaking sweet, man. What a way to end it. <laughs> what a way to end it. That was great. Nice freaking shot. I don't think either of them are banded, but. I just gave another pop just to. <laughs> that's that Trimble team. That's that Trimble team calling. That's right, buddy. That's it, buddy. We brought them in. That is in freaking insane. Are you me? I really, I really hope Dude, they came running in. No band on this one. No band on this guy. Dude, that was about as sweet as it comes. Dude, that's a male. That's a male. This is the female. Nice little couple came in, buddy. Perfect. Oh, that's so gas. That's sweet. I'm gassed up. <laughs> <laughs> I am gassed up. That was great. I wonder where they came from. They had to have come from where the other ones went. Yeah. So this is a pair. You think there's more over here still? Well, we're going to wait as long as we can. Because that was enough for me to get. Get nice fired Just... up again. <laughs> like they were yeah. going to land. Do you see them carrying baby? Yeah. Yeah, when, like, it, when their wings stop like that. I was like, oh, it's happening. Yeah. It is happening. Like they, they, they started carrying a baby over Dollar General. Oh! Yeah, I, saw, like I saw that. So I saw floating in. I was like, no way. Dude, I am caught in too, <laughs> messing gassed. Around. I am so gassed up sweet. right now. You guys are talking to each other, joking around. Next thing you know, come flying They just in. come right in. <laughs> Boom! That's epic. That's great. That's epic. That made me happy. Well, what time do we got? 
it's just now tur it's probably turning eight o'clock. It's exactly. Oh. That's great. Well, that's how it's supposed to go. That is mm, mm, good. amazing. Four, four buddy. Not bad day. That is a great day. And Gino's got three. It's like four in a band. Four in a band. So the band basically, we keep talking about, hey, we're going to check the band. You could. All right, we're going to wait. You could have got one. All right, you guys ready for this? All right. My heart is racing. It's Why? Say. It's just a freaking like spreadsheet of Sorry, data. Four year old PA bird. I'm going five PA bird. Okay. <sighs> All right, you ready for this? This bird was banded as a Canada goose when it was too young to fly on June 24th, 2020. Four year old bird. Four year old goose. So that's right up the road that's up at that yeah. pond that I was saying they come from. He was banded right up the road about four and a half, five miles from here. That's where it lived. It's a female. Four years ago, female. Female, four years old, local yokel. Local, yokel local has Susie. Been, has been ever since. How about it? Well, that was pretty sick. We got four geese, September action. We got Troy's first bird ever. How you yeah. feel about this? Pretty freaking jacked up, huh? Maybe not as jacked as me, but he needs more time to marinate and he'll get there. So, yeah, this is awesome. Uh, glad you guys join us. Like and subscribe, follow us for more stuff, and otherwise, just men, men and nature together. See you guys on the next one.